weird in all of them and it's just i want her my eyes are so puffy can you see this one right here it feels like it's shut oh my allergies are so bad i feel like it's just ugh, so heavy hi guys so right now we're not gonna have a very long live stream well at least i don't think we are we've been doing really well not going over an hour and got my scissors i have to do can you hear my car hi tiffany hi torch angel hi ash hi sandy can you guys hear my car hi yami hi Chantel. i hope you guys can't hear it if you can hear it then i'll just turn off my car hi name is kathy so we're gonna be opening up her miss random hi nope don't hear the car okay cool because i don't like turning my car off on off on i hear it's not good for your your car when you do that so all right so in the last live stream you guys said nancy buy her buy her buy her hi makai makai is at home with the girls the girls have homework and cleaning to do i have some errands to run out out in town after the live stream and i gotta go to mcdonald's and get some more demon slayer stickers <laughs> and drop off the food at the, the fire station maybe the post office if i have enough but yeah so a lot of friends are asking for those demon slayer stickers from mcdonald's and they're so cute i've asked two mcdonald's already yesterday if i can get just the stickers i even have my little google translate they're saying no so i don't know where my friends are saying that you can go to this mcdonald's and just buy the toy because everywhere i go i can't do that or i don't know if they allow that or if that's like a you know restaurant to restaurant kind of thing so and you know we get the food i told my friends this i'm like I, I can't get it do you mind just buying the meal and they're like yeah i'm like okay i'm not eating the meal i'm donating it so that's what happens so yeah so whenever friends ask for stuff from mr donuts or baskin robbins i'm not eating 80 scoops of ice cream <laughs> we're donating that to the hardworking people on the base okay that's a thing in America. I don't know about Japan, says Jade Moon. Yeah, Jade Moon. I don't think that's something that's done here. I don't know if it's, you know, a restaurant to restaurant kind of thing. Hi, Marshall. Hi, Demi. But as for me, I even ask it and I even put it on my stories. You know, I asked them, can I get just the toy? And my Japanese was so bad. And, I, and then I had to turn off my, you know, my Instagram story because I got to use my Google Translate. So you guys aren't saying that part unless like Makaya is with me. But he's not so yeah that's the 411 on that so yeah a lot of friends really like the new demon slayer stickers i know there's stickers they're like it's just stickers but if you're a fan of demon slayer and these are so cute and you can only get them here in japan at mcdonald's that, that ups the value on it that ups the exclusivity of it and that how much you want it i already put two stickers on my laptop so i'll put more on my laptop it's on a laptop case not the actual laptop but I'll show you guys that and yeah. So let's answer a couple questions. Jenny Sams, how did you manage to wait a day to open Mars? Girl, it's for you guys. I bought her for really you guys. I really didn't want to spend $45. And my Super Sailor Moon, it's on its way today. Makaya bought me too. He bought me the A and the B for my birthday. So thank you, sweetie. I love you. Hi, Susanna. Hi, Osang. Hi, Le Eve Lecture Girl. I hope I, I hope I say your name right, hon. I'm so sorry if I butcher it, but thank you for loving my hat. <laughs> Hi, Guy. Autumn, not spring. Have you ever ordered from Box Lunch? No, hon. I never order online, like from Hot Topic or Box Lunch. I very rarely order stuff online, simply because uh, I can get it at the store if I'm there. But since we're not there, and there was a hard, you know, there's been something going on because we live in a military base and we have like a weird address so a lot of the companies don't know how to ship it to us here but you know makaya he's a he's a pro he buys stuff on amazon all the time amazon japan amazon america he's a pro so i have to ask him me i'm the type of girl who wants to have it physically in my hand i could see it and review it that way so yeah i, I don't buy much stuff on online is it cold there yes new rule new rule new rule i hope i said your name right new rule it is cold here not freezing cold like in the snow but i it's cold enough where i have like a, my tank top a t-shirt and then my jacket and then if it's you know 
if it's still cold, I have another layer jacket. And if it's really cold, like really windy, I have my winter jacket. So yeah, we come prepared. Prepare for the worst, hope for the best, right? So hi, boo. Yummy, they can't play in arcades, size Mart. Nope, we have the rule that we cannot play in arcades. And until that rule is lifted from our base, you will not see us in an arcade. So yeah, we're trying to change our channel a little bit. Friends have recommended that we start live streaming more often, which is what we're doing. We're live streaming every day, 11 a.m. Japan time. You might see us at home. You might see us in the store. You might see us in the car. We might be eating. We might be at, you know, answering questions from you guys, opening goodies. Yeah, so yesterday's live stream, I did mention it. I think it was on Monday when I opened all of my Sailor Moon figures that I wanted to get a B of Sailor Mars because I was not happy with the color of Sailor Mars A, her hair. It was matte, it was not glossy, it looked dull and it kind of it kind of made her look weird out of all of the Super Sailor Scouts. So I was like, let's get a B and see how the B looks because if the B looks really good, I might have to collect all the bees. Yeah. Well, I mean, Makai already bought me Super Sailor Moon B. Unfortunately, Chibi Moon is now sold out at the secondhand store that I found the A version at. So, and then finding the, the, the B version of these, the Super Sailor Scouts. Yeah, it says Super Sailor Mars. Because they're a hot commodity right now. Finding them in the secondhand stores. I'm going to be paying over $30 and, easily. And I know that the B ones, they're the harder ones to find. So, Strawberry Froppy, hi man, I wish I had an anime figures, but they are too much money. Some can be, some can be. That's why in yesterday's live stream, if you want to go check that out after this one. Yeah, oh, thank you, Wolf Moon. <laughs> Guess what just got here? Are you kidding me? Did it arrive? Makai, did it arrive? Boo, no luck yet. No luck, hun. But we're not giving up yet. We're not giving up because there are a ton of secondhand stores here in Japan. We just hopefully find the right one that has him. Crazy ketchup, cute postcards are expensive and they high priced in Japan too. Some of them, some of them, my dear, some crazy ketchup. It's in my hand. Oh my gosh, Makaya has my, see He has my Super Sailor Moon. Okay, so but that's gonna be a video. I think we're gonna have to do a video on that. I think, maybe we'll do it live, maybe, because we, we were opening up all of our, Sailor Moon figures on the live, so yeah, so he got me the Super Sailor Moon, you guys. Crazy, not so much. I have like 40 cute postcards. Yeah. Hi, Secret Asian Tran. So in yesterday's live stream, you can go watch it. We were talking about figures, and friends were like saying, you know, Nancy, can you get me? I'll give you $50. Get me as many figures as you can. I go, does it matter what kind? Do you want like Sailor Moon? Do you want Demon Slayer? Do you want Love Live? The answer, I don't care. I just want to mix. I want a lot of cute anime figures. Well, then that's not a problem because I was showing in the live like um, there were a lot of figures, really good figures for $3, $4, $5, $10 cute postcards, and that's a really good deal. You know, if you could get a cute postcard for under $10, that's a steal. That's an excellent deal excellent find oh my gosh i'm trying to be careful oh, okay i always have scissors in my car unfortunately these aren't the best box cutting scissors but it does the job so i told friends you know like with 50 dollars, i can get you some high quality in demand figures right now from demon slayer mha but with 50 dollars, you know 45 30 to 45 of it is going to be going to one figure if you want that or if you just want random cute figures for cheap I mean I could get you like 10 to 15 with $50 if you don't care who the figure is and sometimes friends say that you know they don't care who they get they just want a cute figure they want to grow a collection like have a lot of figures and I get that but for me I want quality as much as I want quantity you know what I mean so she's got a weapon in the car I got a weapon in the car I am the weapon who says I got a weapon in the car <laughs> I am the weapon my car is the yep that's why I always wear it on one shoulder 
get off my figure. No, I'm just kidding. No, don't promote violence. <laughs> but I do promote self-defense. Okay, so remember we did the rattle test and she was like, ch -ch 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 -ch. so it was the cardboard. It was the cardboard that was loose. And there's no fresh tape. It lo doesn't look damaged or anything or open. So did you see my comment, Micaiah? Says Lisa. <laughs> so... Mm. I'm seeing the color through the plastic. Everything's good. Everything's here for $45, you know. I got the sticker, you know, everyone's like, do you have the sticker? Do you have the, yeah, it's legit, not a fake. And everything's good and sealed. And we have the q -plus kit that's now on the stand that they're doing that. So it's legit. Why did they do this to Mars? Why? Did they make her not as shiny as the other Kuposkits? She's dull. She's matte. Look at that. Can you see it? Oh my gosh. It's a matte. It's not a gloss. Ooh, what's this paint job? Ooh. Ooh, what's that paint job? Who's quality control? Who allowed this to go out? I, am I just too picky? Her face looks good. Kind of. Let me see. It's not bad. Am I just too picky? I don't think I am, really. Like, when, when we were back in the States and we were trying to find Funko Pops, you know, and I would go to Target and I, I'd tell my friends, look what I found, they have them. And then my friends would be messaging me on Instagram, like, Nancy, can you pick me up one, can you pick me one? And so there's like five on the shelf. I buy two because the, the Funko Pops, you know, it's hit or miss with that paint job because you can see like half of the eye is not even painted or half of the eye is painted on their hair. So I don't get those messed up ones. I'm like, I keep looking over there because I'm in a parking lot. I have to go shopping afterwards, guys. I'm in a parking lot. And you know me in parking lots, right? About my ghost stories. Okay. I prefer a ghost than a real human being because if that's a real human being, you know, trying to play tricks on me in the corner. Okay, that's just messed up. Okay. Okay, we're cool. We're cool. Okay. Okay. Sandy Rivera, Funko Pop, worst paint job, right? Have they gotten better? I mean, our friend Dragon Claw Games, they sent us those cute Funko Pops. And they, the, the paint job's amazing. I don't know if that was them, like, looking through stuff or, yeah. Right, Crazy Ketchup? I hate parking lots, right? Well, creepy, right, Hillary Kitty? Creepy parking lots, like the indoor ones. Because indoor ones, you could, you, you could hide be, behind pillars or in corners and yeah it's just scary so okay okay and shadows shadows everywhere okay all right back to back to sailor the moon the bee sailor moon oops she fell okay so not bad not a bad paint job not a bad paint job i don't know if you could tell right here it's a little bit iffy like the skirt that connects to her top unless they meant to make it look like that which is probably it could be like that i don't remember her wearing pink on her outfit so <laughs> double check that your doors are locked mal yes ma'am my doors are locked you got it she's beautiful though right bobby kenny yes let's put her together she is beautiful if i'm just being picky well, so be it. I'm picky because I spent $45, you guys. $45. But is she worth it for my collection? She will make my collection better. She will make my collection. It's not complete because I, I only have her and Super Sailor Moon. Now I got to get Mercury, Jupiter, Venus, and Chibi Moon in the B versions to complete it. Oh, she does look pretty though. Wow okay okay and you know what for a pastel because this is supposed to be a lighter version 
A is supposed to be the bright, vibrant, I guess, bolder colors. Yeah, A is bolder. And B is supposed to be more pastel and brighter. But on this one, oh. Yeah, it's not like tappy where I can like tap and focus, focus. <laughs> it's my phone camera. So I'm collecting the A's. And you can see she's like a deeper red versus the B, which is like a brighter red. So, right, Mal, for that price, I want quality, right? Exactly. So, I'm happy. I'm happy she's not a fake. I'm happy she's pretty. And yes, she's one of my favorite scouts. I know, it's like, who's your favorite? I can't pick a favorite. When I was younger, first my first all-time favorite was Sailor Mercury. She was my all-time favorite. And then she became my all-time favorite because she was strong, independent, you know, and smart. Not as smart as Mercury. Mercury's a genius, but she was smart too. You know, they all have their qualities. Who can you relate to the most? And then, I, and then, super, and then Sailor Moon became my favorite. But then she became so whiny and dependent on being saved. But then her story, her art changed. And then I started to uh, like her, you know, again. And But then, you know, then Jupiter came along. I liked her. Then Venus came along. I liked her. I never liked Venus as much as I liked the other scouts, though. I feel like her story, unfortunately, was not as developed as the others. And she looks so similar to Sailor Moon. So I was, like, kind of conflicted with her. I mean, I like her. But if I had to choose which sailor would have to be thrown off the ship if we needed to get rid of someone it would be her <laughs> oh my goodness yeah she's pretty i like her i like her worth the 45 dollars. yes and i have to admit the purple hair looks better than the black hair because the black hair is so dull with that matte that it actually looks kind of gray but this this is much better Chibi Moon was your fave, Hufflepuff. <laughs> the Hufflepuff. <laughs> Chibi Moon. Chibi Moon was my fave, the Hufflepuff. I would have to say Chibi Moon, I liked her, but I knew there was something up with her. I mean, she had to have been family with Sailor Moon, like when her story came along. So I was like, I, they have to be related some way because the way you fight, you only fight that way with, with family. And yeah, so then like many, many episodes later, many, you find out they're family. Oh, sorry. Was that a spoiler? <laughs> right? She looks better. Right, Rihanna? Rihanna, I'm, I know, honey. You, you told me. Rhiannon? Rhiannon? Oh, my gosh. I got to go back to how you told me how to say your name. But, yes, you are correct, hon. I just say R. Jackman. Can I just say that? <laughs> She's pretty. The hair didn't tell you? The Hufflepuff? <laughs> Marcy, I actually like the outer planets. Oh, you do. You like the you like the outer planets better? This the story arc with the starlight ones, I got confused. I was like, what are they trying to, you know, I understand they're bringing more characters and, you know, expanding it. I like the same I don't like them better, but I like them as I like them equally with like Mars and Mercury. They're pretty interesting. The stories that they're going into. Autumn, not spring. Yes, I saw another Sailor Mars behind the one you picked up, and I was wondering if she was less expensive also. I believe she was. You can go double check on the live stream, but I believe she was the A figure for $35, and that is actually cheaper than what I paid. I think I paid $38.10, and from that store, yeah, from Watman, the same store I got her, and that's also the same store where I got Sailor Jupiter for 43 yeah I paid a pretty penny for these Sailor Scouts at Watman but I did get Sailor Mercury for two dollars cheaper at Watman than I would have at Sudagaya and I did get Sailor Venus Super Sailor Venus at Sudagaya for $30 so yeah Chibi figures Nancy have you seen the new Super Sailor Moon Kaleidoscope Wand Kuposket no I heard of it. I think I saw it in a magazine because I'm starting to read more of the Japanese magazines because they have like, this is when this comes out and, you know, exclusives. And that's how I was able to get that Super Sailor Moon. Sorry, I had to close that. The Super Sailor Moon. Oh, it's not Super Sailor Moon. But it's a collab. It's a, it's a special Anasui Sailor Moon collaboration book. And inside the book, it has a um, 
What is that? What is that? What is that? Uh, <laughs> that's, um, what is that? What am I? What is that? Pouch, purse, sling bag. Is that what I'm trying to say? Anybody? Hi, Starry Sakura. Uh, is the bag worth it? Yummy. Uh, I'm a huge Sailor Moon fan. I also like Anna Sui. Purse clutch, yummy. It ha it's a three-way. It, it, it shows on the box. It's a three-way that you can ha make it into a pouch, a clutch, a sling bag, a purse. So, but it's like $29.70 tax included. And then, and if anybody's getting it from Carrie, don't forget, you have to add Carrie's uh, worker's fee on there on top of that, okay? Because she has her team that she has to pay. So, should I have Nancy wait until her birthday to open up her new Sailor Moons? That's evil. Yes, Makaya, that would be evil. But if that's what you guys want, it, it, you know, I, w I will listen. But I, w so I paid $30 for a book with a bag in it. The bag is beautiful. I like it. It's going to go into my collection. It's Japan exclusive. So absolutely, $30 actually is a steal for me, considering, you know, considering that um, it's an Anna Sui. So, and they even have Bape. They have Bape here. So when they have, you know, those kinds of merch in the, in the books, in the magazines, I don't even really think they're magazines, really. It's like a special book that you get to see what merchandise will be coming out at that time. So, yeah. Brand name collab, yummy. Yeah, brand name collabs are, they're so worth it and they're so hard to get. I was trying to help Carrie get those uh, Super Sailor Moon collaboration. They're not Super Sailor Moon. Stop saying Super Sailor Moon. Sailor Moon collab books. I was trying to get them for Carrie and I can't find them anymore. I was like, uh, Carrie? <laughs> I got her four. I know I got her four, but I'm hoping to go out to a couple more bookstores today. Hope to find them. And then I have to pick up some sakura lattes while I'm getting dinner for tonight. And yep, so that's the plan. So what do you guys think? $45, worth it? A catalog, Angela? Kind of like a catalog, but I don't really think, um, I catalogs, aren't you able to order stuff from the catalogs? The books that we get, you're, you can't order. At least I don't think you can, because they do have some QR codes. So maybe you could look it up through the website. But as far as I know, it's stuff that's being released in stores. Everyone's saying worth it, right? $45, you guys, worth it. And a coupon kit, high in demand. If they were to put this in an arcade game, I guarantee you, like Round 1, Namco, Capcom, they would put it in one of the hardest games to win. And you would probably have to pay between $40 to $80 to win her if you're lucky because some places man they put it in this game that is ridiculously hard sticky tape everywhere and it's just you know a common game that any arcade could have but it's extremely hard to win and then the arcade players they're like you know they tell you do this do this or you see like a sign push here not always the case so you know arcades are making their money off of people playing for these games because they have to play pay for their employees pay for their bills so $45, I would say that's pretty good, pretty good. Cause you know, we've, we spent like what, 80 in a video a long time ago trying to win a Q plus kit. Mm -hmm. Well, that one was, we were trying to make a point. Like friends are like saying, how, how high could these figures be priced at in the games? And they put payout at a high, 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 high point, especially in a claw game. Yeah. But there's one game, it's the teeter-totter game, and my friend works at uh, round one, and he says they have to test it over and over and over to make sure there's no way to win it easier than a certain amount that they have written down. Yeah, so <laughs> they, they have to because they get in trouble if these popular prizes go out for like $5 in an arcade game. Okay, who messed up? <laughs> who's me who messed up and who's going to get their head chopped off for that? Because, yeah, it happens, you guys, and we've witnessed it. There have been times where, you know, Makai and I were playing at the arcades and we actually lift a bar off and then the price falls in. So they made a mistake either with the, sh the claw strength or the position of the bar. They didn't put it properly in and the bar came off and it fell in 
technically we won. That's not our fault. That's, you know, the arcade's fault. And there have been times when displays, you know, they have these like little figures out on display. Oh, it's so pretty. I want to win that. And we're playing the game. And then the claw hits it into the shoe. And we're like, we just won the display. <laughs> and there's actually YouTubers who, oh, I forgot who, it, uh, yeah, it's like, oh, I forgot the name. I forgot the name. Oh, I'm sorry. Prill, how is it different from A again? Hi, Nancy. Hi. I love that you're an adult and you love Sailor Moon. Of course, hon. 41 years old and I taught my children about Sailor Moon and they love they love Sailor Moon too. Yes, yeah, Sailor Moon is a classic. Classic anime. And real quick, hon. A is like bold. Like you, you see the, the bold, darker red and black versus the B, which is like the purple hair and the brighter, lighter costume. So I would always say A is bold, B is pastel. That's how I always saw it. But yeah, there's a, oh, there's a Japanese YouTuber. I forgot his name, but it's hilarious, his arcade plays. And he goes into the arcades and he lifts, like, you know, that basket of uh, ping pong balls er, and you got to get a ping pong ball and scoop it into the hole. And if you get it in the right hole, the prize will fall. He lifts the basket of the ping pong balls and dumps all of the balls in there he knocks the prizes like the displays off he picks up signs in the game he doesn't care about the actual prize he wants like what can i get this claw to grab yeah it's just it's just hilarious his his arcade videos are like yeah and they're like way back in the day way back in the day like 2017 makai makai and i would do crazy claw okay let's do crazy claw crazy claw and we would stir, stir, stir that joystick and the claw would go crazy. And we would time it so it would grab onto the plushes in the back and yank them down. And they didn't have those plushes in the back wall secure. So when they topple over, it makes a hill. So then that way we can grab the plushes from the back and bring them to the prize chute and we would win. Arcades got they caught up to that <laughs> they got caught up <laughs> yeah they got they caught up to that and they caught up to crazy claw because now when you do crazy claw the claw will sp while spinning in air it'll go crazy and sp just close and you just lost your dollar so yep arcades they're catching on yep we try to get one step ahead of the arcade they just yeah <laughs> wasn't that last year secret asian trend no huh no we didn't play anything last year remember 2020 no arcades well, January, February, it was in March, March, my birthday week, that they made the rule of no more arcades. Yeah, no arcades, the lockdown, yeah. Yeah, March sucked last year in 2020 for my birthday and Michaela's birthday. So, yeah, it was, uh, yeah. But hopefully this year, you know, maybe a little better. Maybe, fingers crossed. So... Yeah, there was a gentleman who just walked over here. I was like, where'd he go? Is he is he just walking? <laughs> is he getting exercise in, in the... He, he waved at me. I waved at him like, hello. <laughs> you watching the live stream? But um, yeah, he's, he's walking in the parking lot. I'm like, okay, that's pretty cool. Just be careful. Don't want to get attacked by a ghost. <laughs> How do shadows think they will ever lift the arcade rules? Yeah, I think they will. You know, uh, that people are getting vaccinated. The number of cases are going down. It's it's looking better. However, uh, the state of emergency is not going to be lifted tomorrow, which is the seventh here in Japan. They extended it for two, two more weeks. So Japan feels that the numbers have gone down, but not enough to take off state of emergency. So they're going to extend it for two more weeks. And Carrie and I talked about this. Carrie said that's actually a good thing for Japan because they have to have state of emergency declared so that businesses will receive funds from the government. And we have the only thing that I really see during the state of emergency is curfew. You know, nothing is opened after eight. Pretty much everything except convenies, they're still open, but restaurants and malls, they're closed at eight o'clock. And they, you know, the shenanigans happen at night. So that's why the curfew is actually really helpful. You know, and it's, it's not that bad. You know, it's not that bad. It, you know, it's, uh, 
we're not really out late anymore. I mean, besides the curfew, it's like, there's nothing much to do. We want to go home, <laughs> you know? So, yeah. I miss Old Faithful. I miss her too. We say hi to her. She's in a mall that we go to all the time, but, you know, we can't play her, but we can say hi to her. <laughs> like, hi girl, how you doing? And it's sad because every time we pass by Old Faithful, it's the same prizes. No one's playing her when we go by. There's no one around her. No one is playing Old Faithful. It's sad. So it's like, <laughs> we miss you, girl. Yeah, so we'll see. We will see. I was like saying, hey, if we get our vaccinations and we have a card, can we go play at the arcade? You know, can we have that rule? Let's let's change up the rules a little bit, shall we? Yeah. I'm vaccinated. You know, I'm not. I haven't got my vaccination yet. I don't know when we can. Micaiah says that they're starting it up. So for us, for the uh, civilian, not civilians, I'm a, I'm a dependent. So the dependents can start getting their vaccination. So yeah. Don't like needles, but I'm going to do it. Yep. That's funny, you know, right? You, you would think a nurse, you wouldn't be afraid of needles. I'm not afraid of needles. It's the fact that I don't like hurting myself. And I know that I'm, you know, I'm going to get shot. It's going to hurt for a second. Ow, you know. But just the fact that, you know, you're hurting yourself. And, you know, naturally, by nature, you know not to hurt yourself. So that's why I don't like getting shots. I could give shots. I could prick fingers. I could do all that lovely, gory, bloody, you know, nurse stuff. But... Yeah, when it comes to myself, ugh, I am the biggest baby, big baby. And I know I'm supposed to like set the example for my kids, like be strong, be brave. Yep. I would rather get my blood withdrawn than have a finger prick. <laughs> That's how bad I hate it. Oh, yeah. I was like, can you just get the blood sample from my vein, please? Because I'd rather take that than a finger prick. I don't know why. I'm just like that. Chibi figures. Nancy, thanks again for my mystery box. You're welcome. Thank you for ordering chibi figures. We hope you like it. Secret Asian Tran. Try using an auto syringe. Okay. If they have that. <laughs> if they have that here. So luckily, you know, I'm still pre-diabetic. I have to watch myself. I'm not taking any medication. No insulin. Just watching my weight. My diet. Yeah. So hopefully. But I've been giving my mom and my dad insulin shots since I was eight years old. Yeah. And, you know, that was my, my dad, you know, he's Filipino. So <laughs> he wanted me to work in a hospital as a nurse. You know, that was that was the goal. And so started at eight years old, giving him insulin shots, taking his, you know, glucose, taking his blood sugar. I he had a stroke when I was 10 years old. So that sucked. Yeah. So been taking his BP since I was 10 been monitoring it all you know since I was 10 so my husband is you know as you know a klutz <laughs> so him having a nurse in the family does help so yeah <laughs> oh guys this has been fun thank you for chatting with me and for the live box unboxing of super sailor mars b version I think I'm gonna collect the bees I'm gonna have to Carrie is not military that's why she can play games yes who is confusing Carrie with me? Okay, who's doing that? Carrie is ball pens and etc. She's a Japanese resident, has a Japanese business. So she can do whatever she wants following Japan's rule. She doesn't have to follow the military business rules that we have to follow. So that's why they were saying, Nancy's playing at arcades. Nancy's going to Tokyo. No, I'm not. <laughs> that's not me. That's Carrie. We are Kawaii Arcade Masters. She is ball pens and etc. She's also Ots, something Otsmu Caddy, Otsmu, something else. But yeah, don't tell them that. Don't tell them that what? Carrie? No, even Carrie was like telling me. She's like, Nancy, we have to explain to everyone because they're commenting on ball pens and etc. saying, hi, Nancy. <laughs> So if you're on Instagram looking at ball, pens, and etc., that's all Carrie. I don't see any of those comments or questions or, you know, on her DMs and stuff. I can see her comments, but I don't see, you know, the DMs that you guys are sending her, which is so cute because she sends me screenshots of the, of the messages and she's like, these, these guys think I'm you. <laughs> I'm like, oh, no, guys, no. Carrie 
is separate from me. <laughs> oh my gosh, that is so scary. Yeah, sorry, I misspelled her name. It's okay, E L S L S L S. I hope I said your name right. Yeah, it's okay. C A R E Y, Carrie. Until she gets married, then she would have to. Carrie is a Japanese resident on, so she has a Japanese citizenship. Yes. Carrie has a Japanese. Uh, I know her story, you know, of, you know, well, that's what friends do. You know, your friend, you talk and you, you know. So she is legally a resident of Japan, has a business here. She pays taxes. Gosh, she shows me her taxes, guys. She shows me her medical bills. I mean, that's, yeah, that's how close we are. And it's, it's high. It's really high. So I was like thinking, it's like, if we ever move to Japan, it, it's going to be, it's going to be different. It's going to be a change. And, you know, people do it all the time. But, you know, we'll see. We'll see. She was really sad when we told her, yeah, Makaya is going to be retiring and when we're going to be leaving. And she's like, no, don't say that. I thought we would have more time. I thought you were going to move here. I was like, uh, yeah, we'll see. Hi, Life with Lindsay from California. Yeah, so it's good. We still have time. We still have time. It's not like in a year, you know, it's more than a year. It's less than two. If, if all goes well, it's less than two. But, yeah, so. Makaya, we could have left here actually last year. But because Michaela is graduating this year, we wanted her to graduate. And she wanted to graduate here. So that's why we he stayed longer, got another job here for a little longer for Michaela. Otherwise, we would be back in the States with family. Oh, no, that's fast. <laughs> it, it is, I know. Hi, Glenna. We're not allowed to know which company our vaccines come from because Johnson & Johnson had people die? Oh my gosh, Glenna. I have not heard of that. I'm gonna have to do some research. Always do research, 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 research. Do not take word of mouth. Research, research, research. And don't just take one research. Follow up, right? Mary Polly, Nancy usually has a backpack. Yes, Mary Polly, I usually have a backpack. Usually. Usually. It's my 50-pound backpack. Like I said, if there was an apocalypse right now or if there was an earthquake or something happened, I am prepared. I got food, medicine, supplies. You just, in my car, you even see that. I have extra clothing. I have my earthquake kit in the back. So we are ready. The only thing I don't have in my car is the jaws of life and a ladder. Do I have a ladder? No, I don't have a ladder. Okay, but, you know. And Carrie has a suitcase, says Don. Yeah, <laughs> Carrie always has a suitcase. I go, Carrie, you know the Hulk can barely fit four people. My kids are like saying, Mom, please, can we get a new car? Can we get a van? I was like, I do not want to drive a van in Japan. You just, that's, that's dumb. That's really dumb because the streets are so narrow. I'm barely fitting through these teeny tiny alleyways with the Hulk. And he's so narrow. Can you imagine? Go oh, I've seen it. I played chicken with the van. The van won. I'm like, I I'm not. Go ahead. Come, keep coming. I'll back up. Let's go. You get out of my way. I get out of your way and we'll go, to, we'll go our separate ways because it's scary. It's like, it's a two-way street, but enough for like one car. So it's like, how do you do this? Oh, ding, ding, ding. $5 donation from Marshall. Thank you, Marshall. Oh, please. That's not a backpack. That's a black hole of death. Marshall. Marshall, Marshall. <laughs> yes, you remember my, my beautiful black backpack's name. The black backpack of death. The black hole of death, yes. Seriously, guys, I mean, I didn't realize how how heavy it was until Makaya picked it up. He's all like, honey, you know this is like 50 pounds. I go, okay. <laughs> thank you, Gee. I saw the $5 from Marshall. Yeah, thank you, Tamara. Yeah, it's uh, it's it's pretty heavy. I have a very strong back, but I also have back problems because I carry heavy stuff. So, thank you guys for the donation for letting me know about the donation. <laughs> what do you what do I need to do to place an order with you, Christine? So you have to contact Carrie, Carrie at Ballpens and etc. on Instagram, and comment on her post what you would like to order. If it's a mystery box, find the mystery box post. If it's goodies from Japan, just leave a comment on those posts, and she'll get to you. You know, she'll comment. No. She will message you about your comment and you go from there. I just love holding her. I like looking at her in, in there. She looks so pretty. Oh my gosh. I've seen on 
those Funko Pop videos on YouTube and they had that little Lazy Susan, but the electronic one where she just like spins. Oh, I like that. I, I gotta get something like that. And Makaya was even saying that when we get glass cabinets and probably, probably from Ikea, it's gonna have lights and I'm gonna have like sh glittery, shimmery stuff, some hollow stuff in the background and oh, it's gonna be beautiful. I could, I could just picture it right now, but we're not doing that until we actually move and no, we're not moving anytime soon. Hooded Neko, did you see Cinnabon had a Sakura Rolls? No, really? Oh, I gotta go. And in fact, I gotta go pretty soon because I gotta get the McDonald's stuff. I gotta get the Sakura Latte. I gotta look for Sailor Moon collaboration books. Oh, excuse me. And we're having the get stuff for dinner tonight. I gotta, get, I gotta pick up some lettuce, some tomatoes. Makai is making hamburgers. I have steak that I bought a couple days ago that we haven't cooked yet. And that's because, you know, last night was pizza night. I was supposed to cook the baked potato with green beans and chopped up onions and uh, cut up steak, just seasoned black pepper and uh, sea salt. Something simple, something simple. And, uh, but it was WandaVision night and I'm like, and we were cleaning out our kitchen. So Makaya's like, you know what? I was like, what? He's like, I'm not done with the kitchen. And I said, pizza? He's like, yeah. <laughs> crystal clear oh so thoughtful of you nancy family first oh thank you <laughs> mary poly how was wandavision it was amazing mia who named the car i think it was a family name yeah we usually go with disney stuff you know when we name you know our our first dog our first family dog we named her lady our second family dog mickey and oh you're having pizza too like with Lindsay. <laughs> we got pizza hut we haven't got pizza hut in a long time yeah, they didn't have any bone-in wings. They had boneless wings. And I don't care much for the boneless wings. I like bone-in. Mainly because I'm a cartilage girl. I love that cartilage. I have no cartilage on my knees. So, you know, got to love that cartilage when you bite into it. Pugs 309, you need a backpack with wheels and handle to take weight off your back. No, hon. If I do that, I'm going to be losing all my workout. <laughs> Plus the backpacks, they don't last very long. I've tried that and they're kind of short. I'm a, I'm a short lady. I'm only five foot two, but I would have to bend for those backpacks and I'd rather just carry it. Well, boneless pizza, <laughs> Crystal Claire, boneless pizza, no, boneless wings. Yeah, so we got some boneless wings. Michaela and I like the bone in wings, but they didn't have any at Pizza Hut. They, it said coming soon, which means they're out. Yeah, life on a military base in Japan. It happens a lot. Oh, when we went to McDonald's and they had no chicken nuggets? Oh my, that's like saying no fries. That's like mind blown, but it happens. It does happen. Hi, Vixen. Hi, Vixen4488. Yeah, guys, so thank, I, I hope you don't mind. We're just chatting. I mean, I didn't realize the unboxing would go so fast. $45. I still think it's high. This is high, but... But I have to think about this logically. $45 for a very popular Super Sailor Mars Q Posket. Super popular. People are looking for this. And if you go on eBay and see how much people are selling these for, oh my gosh. Wow. You better know that seller because if, ooh, just got to be careful. We've, we've been duped before. We've been duped. Yeah, we paid... Uh, we were, were trying out eBay. We bought something. The seller never sent it. We never got our money back. Reported it to eBay. Yeah, but, you know, it, it happens. It does happen. So you have to be careful. Or you pay for something that you think you're getting the real thing. And then when you get it, it's a total fake. It looks nothing like the picture. So then you have to deal with that mess. But this, going to the store, finding her $45. I don't mind. I don't mind at all. What I do mind, who decided to make all the Super Sailor Scouts glossy except for Mars? She's gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. I love it. But she's the only one that doesn't have glossy hair. She has the dull mat. That's, that's just messed up. No? Is it just me? I mean, from here, can you tell there's no gloss? In person, you could totally tell. You could totally see it. I mean, maybe we could do some photoshopping of her and make some awesome pictures, but if you see her in, a, in my collection, you can totally tell. No gloss. 
Yeah. Wasn't the original Sailor Moon Cupos good? What was that? What was that? Starry Sakura? Wasn't that an original? This one? This is the super one. The super one that just released. What was it? This 2021? I think the first ones were Chibi Moon and Sailor Moon in, in December of 2020. And then it was Mercury and Mars in January. And then Jupiter and Venus in February. Is that right? Please someone correct me if I'm wrong. They got lazy, Chantel. <laughs> Or they're trying to be different. I don't know. Maybe, maybe you know, they would thought collectors would like this, and maybe collectors do. I unfortunately don't. Yeah, not not the not the best for my collection. I meant the TV series. Is she from original Sailor Moon? She's super. So she's what season is that? When they become super sailors. Third season. I'm all confused with all this, the sa the seasons and the episodes. It's like season three, episode 231 on Hulu. I was like, what? When they get, yeah. The girls and I are going to watch, Raya, wait, you said you were not going to watch it till I got home. I thought we were going to watch it for dinner. Yeah, last night was WandaVision, guys, and WandaVision was amazing and an, an emotional toll. So we did not watch Raya and the Last Dragon. We we're going to watch, we're going to watch it today. We're going to stream it. And it was playing on base yesterday at 5.30. I'm like, there's no way I am missing WandaVision to see this movie in the theater because I could also stream it later. <laughs> so, it, I mean, it, it's fun for, you know, families to go out to the movies again and see a new movie, especially a Disney one that is supposed to be amazing. Heard amazing reviews about it. So that's a good thing. Yeah. So, yeah. I'm at 46 minutes. We're not over an hour yet. We're doing good. I found All Might figure for $80 at Walmart, but didn't buy it. It was too pricey, says Alice. Wow, at Walmart. Yeah, we when we were back in the States, back when we were allowed to go, uh, we found a Dragon Ball Z figure for like $25 or $30. It was weird. So weird. Oh, ding, ding, ding. Hottie, 82. Thank you for your two euro donation. Gives it, gives it I Japan Kuposuke of SAO and Frozen. Uh, they do have frozen cuposkets in Japan. SAO. I don't remember seeing SAO cuposkets. Has anybody? Is it Hadi or Hodi? I'm so sorry if I butchered your name, hun. But I do have some frozen. I do have frozen cuposkets that we are putting in mystery boxes. Uh, and there's a lot of frozen. It's always volume one. Thank you, Joanna, with the ding, ding, ding. No SAO yet. Thank you, Els. Thank you, Chibi Figures. Nope, no SAO. Yeah, I don't remember seeing SAO. Uh, but there are tons of cute post-kits out there. Tons. Especially Disney. They have Marvel. They have that time I got reincarnated as slime. Rem, Ray, Ray Zero. They have Twisted Wonderland. They're going to have My Hero Academia coming out. I can't wait to get that Deku. Yes, I'm going to buy him. Unless there is someone on Instagram who follows us as we follow them mentioned that when on the post, this one, he said, I'm glad I won her. And I, and I commented back, well, win me one. <laughs> if you can win me a Deku one, we'll talk. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll talk. Because, holy cow, seriously. That better be leaves or something. I, I, I have really good peripheral vision. So like, when can I stop seeing my fingers? I'm, I'm looking straight. Almost to like the back. I can still, yeah, I can't see me. I can't see myself wiggling my fingers. I can see myself wiggling my fingers. That's how good my peripheral vision is. I can see that. I see something in the background. I kid you not. And it freaks me out because I have to get ready. You know, I'm in my car. It's still on. I can drive out of here. <laughs> because I'm scared. I'm by myself. And then the guy came up here and startled me because no one's going to come in this parking lot. But <laughs> I was wrong. <laughs> okay. We got to cut the short. Well, it's not short. It's 49 minutes. We're doing good, guys. Not over an hour. Hi, this is Andrea's kids. Hi, Andrea's kids. Where's mommy? <laughs> is, did mommy say you could use her account? I hope so. You're spooking yourself, Hooded Neko. You have no... Well, sometimes, you know, you have to be aware of your surroundings. 
So if you see something, just check. Just check, you know? Just check. Be aware. And in Japan, with all these ghost stories and with my mom telling me these ghost stories, yeah, I got prepared. And my friends, they're sending me, you know, all kinds of stuff. Thank you. Thank you for the stuff, for the charms, the music, the prayers, you know? Because my mom, my mom is Buddhist, but she is、um, familiar with my dad's religion, which is Catholic. And she does follow it too. She does follow, but she wasn't baptized. So she told me, like, you know, all of these stories when I was younger and when I was coming here and all the rules. And so it's like, yeah, when you go to, when you come to Japan and when you sightsee, there are certain rules. Even if you don't practice it, you know, it's still good to be respectful. So that's what we do. We respect, we respect other people's, you know, rights and their, you know, and their practices in this religion. So when we went to Hakone and we see people bowing at the Tori gates, we bowed too. And then we went to the shrine and we said a prayer for my mom, for my family, for myself, for my kids, you know. You know, it's just, it's just being there. We're in representative of, we're representing our mom, or my mom, excuse me, my, our family. Does that make sense? Yeah. So I'm just, you know, being aware of my surroundings right now because seriously, I've been having some juju vibes lately. And <laughs> it's kind of freaking me out. It's kind of, you know, I haven't watched anything scary. The only thing scary I've watched recently is WandaVision, and that's not really scary. But yeah, I'm, I'm kind of freaked out. I might have to get going because, do you, was that something, was that a bird? Maybe that's a bird. Maybe I'm seeing birds. Oh gosh, can you imagine birds start just attacking my car? That's like one of my biggest fears. I've seen on YouTube this poor woman, she was just walking, and all of a sudden a goose came out of nowhere and started attacking her. And then, here in Japan, when we first moved here, they warned us do not walk outside with food because the birds will grab it from you. I've seen while driving birds, ravens come down, snatch food from a person's hand, or attack a person's head because. Either that person was mean or it looked like food. I saw hawks come down, grab food from people's hands, even on bikes. People had something in their hand and the, the hawk would try to grab it. It's crazy here. Even Michaela, Michaela told me, Mom, I got attacked by a bird. I was like, Baby, no, not my baby. Yep, it's happened. Yep. So, huh. Murderous birds, hooded n e c k o not murderous. I haven't seen anybody die. But when it comes to food, oh man. Oh, and there was unfortunately, you know, there's trash outside. And, you know, if I can, I will. I'll pick up the trash and I'll throw it away. Or I'll go close the garbage that was left open so the birds are getting in there. They, they look at me and they're like ready to attack. But I'm looking at them. I go, ah, ah, like go. <laughs> and, then, and then they do the hop because <laughs> they know I mean business. I'm ready. I'm looking at you. I'm watching you. Yeah, because you don't want birds eating plastic. That's not healthy. But these birds, man, they got some, yeah, they got cojones. They got some cojones. They got, they're, they're brave. <laughs> Any rats? Oh, well. Oh, air rats. You said air rats. Amy, Amy Raw. Hello. Let's tell you a little story real quick about plush time winds when they were here in Japan. And I did not witness it, but Angel, Crystal, and my hubby. They saw it and I was like, What? You gotta be kidding me. We were in Yokohama. We were showing them the arcades and we we're like just playing some arcades and having some fun. And I think this was in 2019. You can go see the videos. And they saw like five to ten rats around this dumpster area by the water. Granted, we're up. On, like, this platform area, and below there's like steps and garbage, you know, those bins, the big, the big garbage dumpsters, and there's a water. So that's just like all the lovely makings of a home for rats. And they saw huge rats, like kittens. Or is that a cat? Is that considered a cat size? No, that's a kitten. Cats, I've seen, yeah, it's like a kitten. 
and they're like, Nancy, there's rats, there's rats right there. Oh, it's disgusting. They're all over the garbage. I'm like, really? Really? Because I've never seen a rat here in Japan. I've never seen a rat. I've seen cockroaches. <laughs> I've seen, and I'm sad to say, they fly here. Ugh. But yeah, they saw rats in Yokohama. So when you come to Japan, you know, they warn you, careful of the birds, because those birds are loud. The crows are loud. The hawks are loud. They'll attack you for food. Uh, apparently in Yokohama, there's a big, there's big rats. <laughs> if you go to, um, uh, what is it? Vivere, Vivere round one, that whole Don Quixote, that one whole like little metropolitan area by the train station. Yeah, they saw rats. Ugh. And then cockroaches, you'll just find cockroaches and bugs anywhere, really. Yeah, that's that's the one sad thing is that there are cockroaches. It's gr it's ugh. Ugh. yeah. I would rather deal with murderous crows than cockroaches. I I'm hoping the murderous crows will eat the cockroaches, but there's just so many. Yeah, it's it's bad. Ugh. Murder. <laughs> oh, the murderous crows. Yeah, what do you call a, a group of cr crows? It's called a murder. Yeah, that's um. We learned that from the anime Haikyuu. Oh my gosh, Makai is making popcorn. You evil, evil man. You know I have to go to the market. Rhonda Carter. Nancy, you have to watch the movie The Birds by Alfred Hitchcock. Girl, that's the movie that got me scared of crows and all birds. I mean, that, that movie terrified me. And we don't have phone boots anymore. <laughs> so where do we go hide now? <laughs> if there's, if you can't get to your car to a building, there's no phone boots to hide in. Uh, yeah, it's funny. It's funny how you watch a movie and then that movie trickles on into real life and you're like, oh, that's based on a true story. Uh, yeah. Alfred Hitchcock, Alfred Hitchcock, the birds and that movie as well as psycho and Jaws, those three movies ruined me as a kid because every time I would take a shower, I'd hear the ee, 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 and I would get out screaming because my mind is trying, you know, my mind is playing those tricks on me or I'm taking a bath or I'm going swimming and I'm by myself and I, all of a sudden I'm just thinking of the movie Jaws and I hear dun, 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 and I'm, I'm freaking out and I'm going to get out of the bath, right? Am I the only one? Come on, come on guys, right? You need a cat, Catherine Smith? <laughs> you want my kitty cat to eat the cockroaches? Ew. <laughs> oh, no. No, my baby, my, my kitty cats and my doggies, they would eat yummy, organic. My, do my, my babies eat better than me. <laughs> Let's just say that. Oh. It's been fun, guys. Uh, I'd seen the first Jaws movie. Rachel, really? Oh, my gosh. Going to need a bigger boat. Secret Asian Tran, that's right. When we saw Jaws at USJ with uh, Micaiah's mom, she's all, I remember when I saw this in the movie theater. I was like, girl, OG right there. <laughs> I don't like horror movies. Ah, uh, Batgirl, I get you. I don't like gory movies. I like horror movies to the, to the story, you know, the psychological horror movies. Like, you have to think. You have to think, like, they're leaving breadcrumbs. Who can it be? Especially like that movie with Angelina Jolie and oh, what's his name? Uh, I I want to say Samuel L. Jackson, but I know it's not him. It's uh, I know him very well. I've seen all his movies. Oh, uh, uh, Mia, <laughs> you're scaring me, and I'm in the car. Oh my gosh. Uh, uh, he was in. Remember the Titans, and. He was in, yes, Bone Collector. Yes, Hooded Nickel Bone Collector. Uh, Washington? Washington. Why? I'm, now I'm thinking of Jamie Foxx. It's not Jamie Foxx. It is Denzel Washington. Did I get it before everybody? Did I get it before everybody? Did anybody say Denzel Washington? <laughs> but then I was like, I know him. Why? Yeah, Denzel. Yes, Denzel Washington and Angelina Jolie were in Bone Collector. And I didn't see that as a horror. I saw that as more psychological. Unfortunately, there were killings and deaths and blood. But you have to, like, put these pieces together. I like those kind of movies, you know? Detective work. Solving a puzzle, yeah. I love puzzles. Love solving puzzles. Catherine Smith. My cats love birds. Oh, Catherine, how much do they love them? 
<laughs> because I've seen those cute videos where the dogs and the cats and the birds, like they all live together in harmony. No one trying to eat each other. They're just, it's just beautiful. Yeah. So, I mean, we have cats and dogs living in our house. Sometimes they get along, sometimes they didn't, but yeah, they cope, they coped with each other. Oh, Katrina? Katrina, I hope I said your name right, hun. I cannot take a bath if I am sleepy. Thanks to Freddie K. Ooh. I remember that one. I don't fall asleep often in the bath. I have a couple of times. I just get so relaxed, and all of a sudden, I'm like, and I, <clears throat> yeah. Yep. I inhaled my bath water. Yum. <laughs> Chris, thank you for your $5 donation. Hello, Hapa sister. XOXO from California. Hi, guys. Oh, California, our home away from home. And, that, and in our family, they were like saying, Nancy, read this Reddit. We don't really read Reddit, but we're like, okay, they told us to read this about Texas. And they were saying, Texas has high taxes now, and Texas have huge bugs. <laughs> it's like, taxes, okay, huge bugs, eh, you're going to have to deal with bugs no matter where you move. But I even mentioned, how about let's move to Australia? And my husband and, and my girls were like, no, you know, in sync, synchronized, no. <laughs> I'm like, why? They're like, poisonous spiders, poisonous snakes, poisonous fish. The weather is awful because it's, yeah, it's just extremes in, in Australia, extreme hot, extreme cold. So it's like, yeah, put out beer for the bugs, hooded necko. Why? We want to get them drunk? <laughs> is that how uh, Disneyland is set to open in April? Yes, Vixen. I heard about that. I saw on Fresh Bait. They're like, dude, Vids, Disney, what's up with the tickets? How do we get these tickets? You know, because like 130,000 of my friends want to know. That was funny. That was that was so cool. Oh, no. 62 minutes. We went over you guys. I'm so sorry. We were doing so well. I was like, we're going to chat. We're going to we're going to conversate. Because we opened her and we had we were at 22 minutes <laughs> we were done hun we were done at 22 minutes opening your box and reviewing your color hair I have to say the more I look at the B the the purple this this is better than the A I like her better than the A the color variation if I had to go because the black on the A the black hair looks too dull this looks good so yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna collect all the B Oh, wish me luck on that. Now that I'm starting late <sighs> and probably another $300 into the rest of the figures. Yikes. But that's okay. That's okay because we are going through our collection and deciding what we are keeping and what we are, you know, putting in the mystery boxes. We're, you know, not selling. We're giving them a new home. Yeah. Because we gave away four Disney mystery boxes full of cupos kits and i told i told carrie i'm like are you sure this friend wants this cupos kit they wanted a mulan cupos kit i'm like you know this one's gonna be a pretty penny it's gonna cost most of their mystery box fund and carrie told the friend i think you're on here hon i think you're on here ray ray <laughs> i'm like you sure you want this and she's like yep i want it i'm like okay here you go and then we luckily found some other cupos kits for cheaper. And yeah. So it kind of it kind of balanced out. So it's not like she's getting one for her mystery box, which is pretty much what she almost spent for her mystery box. I was like, "Wow." But you know, friends, they're looking for this particular figure. It's available here in Japan, and I do I do have some knowledge on how to test if it's a fake or not which you can't really do that if you're buying it on a website. So I'll take a card captor Sakura figure. Yay, Yannette. <laughs> Let Carrie know. Creative creation. Yeah, sorry, guys. We're at 64 minutes now. We were doing so well. We were doing so well. I'm, okay, this makes up for the, the last live two live streams where I had to cut it short because, one, my stomach was hurting after eating Taco Bell again. Well, I ate Taco Bell on Wednesday, which was a bad thing. And then on Thursday, I, I still felt it. But yesterday, I cut it a little short because we were doing so well. We didn't have any any circle of deaths or nothing. So, but yeah, this is this is nice. 
Brandy, I would love to get some Demon Slayer Q Postkits. Oh, Brandy. Brandy, Brandy, Brandy. If you want to get Demon Slayer Q Postkits now. Okay, so Tanjiro and Zenitsu, they're within the 20... I did see one Tanjiro for $18, and I'm wondering why. It had Japanese writing on it, and when you see Japanese writing, you have to, you know, you have to translate it because it might say, like, some friends said, uh played in a smoky arcade so the box or the figure might have a smoky smell that people would not like or was previously opened and assembled or assembled which means they just assembled the figure and put it in the box which i've seen that before too and i I've, i haven't bought any of those i like the ones that are you know packaged still and in their plastic and i have to assemble it myself so uh it's just it's just all about, you know, what do you prefer? I got a Tanjiro for $21 in US, but the problem is that it's the B variant. Oh, Sandy, you didn't like the B variant? The B variant is more of a, uh, what is that terminology? Like brown and cream. Vespia? Vespia? It's that type of color variation. It's more... Uh, brown and creams more brown and cream whereas the a is more vibrant natural colors and the b is the more i think it's vespia that's vespia you, you guys know what i mean it's like the you 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 see more of a brownish greenish sepia sepia thank you guys sepia sepia maddie amy lisa yanette yeah everyone's saying sepia sepia okay so Sandy, he has black hair instead of the red. Oh. I have both colors. I have both A and B. I never really noticed that. Okay. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to look at that now. Yeah, I have all of it. I have both A and B for Tanjiro, Nezuko, Zenitsu, Inosuke, Rengoku. Those are the five Q skits that are out for Demon Slayer. That I'm aware of. I mean, I try to stay on top of these things, but then all of a sudden, you know. Cute postcards popping up everywhere. So, what is sepia? Starry Sakura. It's a color variation. It's if you look it up, if you see like um, if you see a white shirt, if you put sepia color over it, like a filter, the white shirt would look cream instead of white. Does that make sense? Am I am I even explaining that correctly, guys? Is that? I hope I am because that's how I've always seen it. It's 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 like pastel. Like pastel is a color variation where it's not as bright. It's a little lighter, like pinks. So if you might see a red, a pastel of red would be pink, or a lighter version of red, if that makes sense. But uh, if you're looking for Tanjiro and Zenitsu and Inosuke and Rengoku and Nezuko, they are in stores. On average, I seen them between 20 to 45. Rengoku is ridiculously high. Ridiculously high. Because he... Oh no, that's a spoiler. I can't say that. Okay, well, it, um, because he was in the last movie that came... Or he was in the movie that recently came out. Why am I saying recently? He was in the Demon Slayer movie that came out in October of 2020. <laughs> so a lot of fans who seen the movie love rengoku and they're trying to collect all rengoku stuff um tanjiro and zenitsu are not that bad right now because they're they've been out the longest and they have so many zenitsu is average 20. nezuko she goes anywhere from 25 i've seen her from 25 to 60 in stores a q posket nezuko so it's it, it depends on where you get her. Uh, Inosuke and Rengoku are the newest ones that came out in Kuposket from in Kuposket form from Demon Slayer. So they're on the higher side, and I've seen Inosuke go higher, higher, higher. I first saw him in stores for twenty dollars, then he got raised to twenty five. Now he is as high as thirty to thirty five, and Rengoku is forty five. And I've I've shown it in my videos many times in uh, on Instagram in our YouTube videos, so if you guys want to see, you know, you can go check it out. Yeah, 
the, these secondhand stores, man, they know. They and they know me too. They know what I'm buying. They see me. Oh, she's got a ton of Sailor Moon. She's got Demon Slayer and MHA. Let's go mark these up. Go, people. Go, go, go. <laughs> and a lot of their a lot of their figures are are high price. So yeah, I'm not buying them as as often as I used to because they were cheaper back then. And but some friends still want them. So. Oh, buy Secret Asian Tran. Bye, you guys. Yep, I'm at 70 minutes now. Is there any Gyu figures crystal clear? Yes, crystal clear. There are Gyu figures. Gyu is actually very high. He's like, gosh, Gyu is in the 60s, $60 figure. Yeah, he's, you know, a nice Gyu figure. And there's two color variants, and they're both high. I've seen them between 50 and 70 between 50 and $70. Recently, I saw him for 63 at Sudagaya. But uh, there's a Gyu Nendroid that we saw for $80 at Sudagaya. And I was like, holy cow. I bought mine at Anime. I ordered mine. And thank goodness I did. I think I spent like $54, whatever the price was. $48 or $54 is what the store price is. And that's what I spent. But I see him going for like $80, $90, $100, and it's crazy. Yeah, online on Amazon. I saw him for like $100. Yeah. Happy early St. Patrick's Day, everyone. Happy early St. Patrick's Day. Yeah. All right, guys. I got to go. I got to do some stuff. I got to get the McDonald's stuff, and I got to get the Sakura lattes, and the, hopefully I'll find some Sailor Moon books. So fingers crossed. All right, guys. Thank you for joining today's live stream. See you tomorrow. Have a good day. Have a good night. And you can rewatch this again. <laughs> is Micaiah working? No, Robin, today is his day off. It's Saturday. So he is at home with the girls. The girls had homework and cleaning to do where I am out going to run some errands right now. Okay, bye guys.